Hey guys, Tony KD8RTT. Uh, today I want to do a video on um, my antenna setup. It's a multi-band vertical kind of stealthy antenna, so I uh, want to go through that. Um, so here's where the coax comes out of my house. Um, if you see the tour of my ham shack uh, video, which you can click on the annotation on your screen to get to, this is the other end at the other side of the window, comes out, goes to a lightning arrestor over here, goes to that ground rod that I pounded down and the coax just runs in this mulch bed down the side of my house so we'll go to the other end and I'll show you where it comes out okay so this is where the uh, mulch bed ends the cable goes under the grass I just kind of dug a trench through here uh, this is direct berry cable um, it survived the winter fine still works fine so um, no problems there I have it marked off because I'm actually supposed to aerate my lawn and I don't know if it's quite ready for that yet. But there it goes back into the other bed where the antenna is located. And there's the tree. So if we go over there. All right. So you got a radio plate in the center and this little box. So this is where the, uh, there's an SO239 in there that splits off the radiating element, um, which is that top little metal piece um, to the, and then the radial bracket. So this is a three element um, antenna. It's got a 20 meter radi radi radiator, radiating element, I should say. Uh, well, one for 10 meters, 20 meters, and 40 meters. They just simply run up the tree. Let's see if we can get a good shot of one. And I have them kind of stapled up the tree. I used brown wire, so it's pretty hard to see unless you're really looking for it. And they kind of go on different sides of the tree. Um, it's a pretty tall tree, so couldn't get to the top, so the 40 meter element actually jumps over to the tree next to it in a kind of inverted L configuration. Let's get this on focus. Um, so, and that works fine. That's not been an issue at all. Uh, tunes up on all those bands um, under a 2 to 1, under 1 1.5 to 1, really. So, no problems there. Um, as for the radial plate, I just have multiple lengths, radials. Um, leading off this plate that I soldered them to. I used an acetylene torch um, to do it because it was kind of hard to heat this up. Um, and of course I used colored wire because I had it. Uh, I didn't have as much brown, so didn't want to, you know, might as well use it up. But if you use like brown wire, it'd be even harder to see. And I just had them kind of snaking along this huge mound. I used lawn staples uh, to hold them down all over the place. Um, and I cut a few radials for each band. I can't remember how many. Less than optimal. Um, that's the biggest problem with this current setup is there's not enough, not enough radials. And I guess you could always use more, but I really don't have that many here. But it still works pretty well. So, like I said, I've got them filling this bed, this circle around, and I've got a few of them that go out into the lawn. Um, there's one there, um, and then there's I'm actually standing on one. Let me see. That's a green wire. And they've, I did this at the end of last summer, and they've actually buried themselves pretty nicely. As you can see this one, the grass is a little thin at some points. Um, but, I mean, the lawn's been cut since, and none of them have been cut. There's one that's actually buried out here, maybe two, that you really can't see. Um, that those really got buried nicely. Um, but, yeah, so I just kind of put some of the longer ones out into the lawn because I had to. The rest of them just kind of snake around this mulch bed. Again, not optimal, um, but it was really all I could do. Um, remember, this is my parents' house, so they were nice enough to let me do this. Um, but, uh, and it wor but it, I mean, it works well. I really can't complain about it at all. I was using a 20 meter dipole in my attic before this, and this is so much better. Um, like I said, this is a 10, 20, and 40 meter element, elements to it, and I can tune it up, you know, on 15 also, of course, um, because of the 40, ele 40 meter element. Um, no problems. And with my little manual tuner, I can tune this up on basically anything to 80 meters and maybe 160. I can't remember if I got that to work, but probably. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're not great on those other bands, but it's definitely usable and it's really good on the bands it was designed for. So I don't know if you can see up there. Might be hard. There is a brown wire that goes to this tree. Um, kind of hard to see, but I don't know, you know, still, still, uh, still up there after all winter and everything works you know the radio still tunes up on everything as it should um, of course I could have tuned them probably a little better but 
I got them down to one, below one and a, 1 1.5 to one. And then I figured my uh, internal tuner can make up the rest of it. Not too big of an issue. My internal auto tuner that is. But um, yeah, so I actually saw this idea in an old QST article that I found online. Um, and you know, I modified it to my yard a little bit, but it works really well. You know, I'm not allowed to have a, not really allowed to have an external antenna. Um, or at least a noticeable one that's, that, you know, so this is my kind of solution to it, and it's it's really nice. You know, you can't see the elements on the tree at all. You can see the ones in the bed, but that's because they haven't been mulched yet. Once you mulch this bed, those elements are going to disappear. So it's not an eyesore at all, and it works really well. And, of course, you can make it for any band you want, depending on how long you cut the uh, vertical elements for. Um, so pick ones that work well and that you have space for. So... But yep, that's about it. Just wanted to show that off. I also have this written up in a blog post I did a while ago. I'll have a link to that below. Um, but if you have any questions, let me know. Um, but other than that, not too much. So see you later. 73.